Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to validate or verify cluster configuration. In this demo, we'll be learning how to add multiple nodes to cluster for validation. Number two, how to run all tests on all added nodes for cluster validation. Keep in mind that uh, if you're creating your cluster brand new, you need to add all the nodes that you have prepared to be uh, in the part of this cluster. So uh, please add all those nodes and run all tests against those nodes. That's, that is recommended. So let's go ahead and uh, in my case, I have a TBS node one and TBS node two. These are my two node cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and use cluster uh, failover cluster manager on any of the, these nodes that you have added uh, as a part of the preparation of those uh, nodes to be in cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and choose TBS node one. I can go ahead, I'm using Windows 2012 R2. So in my case, if I click on uh, server manager, I can go ahead and open up uh, by clicking tools and click on failover cluster manager. Once the failover cluster manager comes up, you need to right click on failover cluster manager and click on validate configuration. And wizard will appear. You need to click next and add all the nodes that you have prepared for this cluster. In my case, I have TBS node one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add. This is also the verification if if a node, whatever the node that you're using, in my case is TBS node one, if failover cluster can't connect with node one, then it'll give you error right here. But in this case, as you can see right here, only a thing that I provided was the host name and it got the uh, fully qualified name from that host name. That means it can communicate with uh, TBS cluster, TBS node one with this node. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other node and click on add. As you can see, the little verification goes up here. That means that it is checking that whether it's going to, it has the communication and can connect with the, all the nodes that you're adding right here. So let's go ahead and click next. As you can see what I was talking about, that if you're uh, creating your cluster brand new, you really need to run all the tests that is recommended. You have an option to click on run if you are adding uh, node, disk, or anything, uh, just one resource in your cluster and need to run test against that only, then you can go ahead and click this run uh, only test that I select and that will let you run the uh, selective test. But um, for new cluster, it is recommended to run all the test. And in this demo, we're going to go ahead and run all the test that is recommended. So click next. And here is the report that it is going to server that you have selected to run the uh, cluster test against. These are our servers right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it started the verification and validation of the cluster. Keep in mind that if you run into any issue, uh, if this validation faces any issue that is going to be a trouble for you when you create the cluster, it is going to give you error and will not let you create the cluster. So this is one good thing about validating the configuration of a cluster. When you're creating cluster brand new, you cannot skip this step. Without uh, this step, you will not be able to create the cluster. So this uh, validation is going to take some time. Um, I will go ahead and pause the video. Once the validation is completed, I'll be back. All right, as you can see that failover cluster validation is completed. Let's look at the report. And as you can see that we have completed everything successfully. This is kind of the report that you would like to see in your production environment. Keep in mind that uh, if this cluster is going to be your production environment, then you need to make sure that if it shows any warning, you need to take care of that warning unless you're really sure that you can go ahead and override that warning. So in our case right here, there is no warning. There is no error. In case of error, it wouldn't let us create basically the uh, cluster. So everything passed successfully. I wanted to show you a couple things right here. If you click on network, and this is the network that uh, we had configured, external and private. If you look at the bindings, that is more important. 
the private binding right here needs to be up on top and it does verify that and as you can see that uh, on both our nodes that we have uh, put in there if you have multiple nodes this private uh, uh, private communication between node also known as heartbeat it needs to be in binding on top if it's not then you need to go manually go ahead and move that binding up and move this private network on top as you can see it's on top everything uh, in this cluster is completed successfully now we're ready to create cluster and if you close this it will tell you that you can go ahead and create the cluster now using validation validated nodes keep in mind it used the word validated nodes so if you have any node that you have added and did not validate you cannot create a cluster on that you cannot basically you need to add and validate that particular node and then you can go ahead and add failover cluster and um, uh, have that node part of your failover cluster